Hey Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a CDC loop wing emerger. This is a fairly simple sort of emerger dry fly and the only ingredients you need to tie this is a little bit of either ice dub or diamond dub and a bit of a longer CDC feather. So the stem of the feather is going to create the shuck of the fly and you're going to fold that over to create the shell back or the wing case and then the emergent wing is the tip of the feather. Um, pretty basic fly, uh, pretty easy to tie in some of the smaller sizes. You tie this in a number of colors. We're going to be doing an olive version here today. Don't forget to leave a comment below so we can enter you into the next draw for some flies. Let's have a look at the material list and get started. Let's start off by getting a fresh hook in the vise. We're going to be using a fire hole 315 and we're tying on a size 14 hook today. And we'll be tying this pattern, I'm going to be generally tying it in sizes 16 and 18. I'm going to start off with some 70 denier olive UTC thread. This is a nice uh, thread for this. Just because it lays flat and it catches the CDC rather well. So we'll start right behind the eye and we'll take our thread back a few wraps, trim off the tag end here. And then we're just going to wrap back just till our thread hangs down to touch the point of the hook. Then we're going to grab a, an olive CDC feather. So you want one of these uh, longer type feathers and when you kind of have a look at the feather you'll see that it has a slight curve to it. So you can tie this with the curve down or with the curve up. My preference is to use the up curve just so this uh, hook sits deep in the water and the butt end here that kind of supports the fly in the surface film. So we'll give that a couple loose wraps with all the fibers stroked back and then we can kind of pull that to the desired length. We'll add another wrap and tighten it down. We'll pull back the CDC and then wrap up to behind the eye. Next we're going to use a little bit of diamond dub. We're going to be using my favorite color here. This is the bronze olive diamond dub from Superfly. If you don't have access to that, one of the other colors I really like for olive flies is the golden brown ice dub from Hairline. It's another great. Or some of the other blends, the synthetic blends from uh, Arizona are uh, quite nice as well. So we just put a thin noodle of dubbing on there and we'll just wrap that back to where we tied in our, our CDC. And we're going to beef that up just a touch with a little bit more ice dub or diamond dub. We kind of want to make a bit of an egg shape here almost with the uh, dubbing. And then we're going to pull all the CDC that we have remaining forward. You want to try and minimize any stragglers that are going to be hanging off there. If you do have a few stragglers, it's uh, not a big deal. You can leave them or you can go back and trim them off after. So next, we're going to fold the front part of that CDC. We want to try and keep this centered on the hook. And we'll tie that down with a uh, couple wraps of thread. And then we're going to take the tip and we'll fold that back, lock it in place, and... That's basically it. We're going to add a whip finish just to finish off this fly. And make sure that we lock down that CDC in place. And I would suggest using 
a, a little bit of head cement or a little bit of bone dry just on the thread wraps just to keep them in place. But it's a fairly simple fly. You can tie this in a variety of different colors. We've got the olive here, but I'm also going to be tying up some light pink, uh, some yellow, brown, and maybe even a couple black variations. You can go through and trim off those extra bits if you like, or you can just leave it as is. I don't think it's going to hurt too much. If you want them pretty, trim them up. If you like them dirty, just get out there and fish them. Hey fly tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.